Can you tell me where I am? What store are we about to go into that is this crowded at 2.13 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon? Y'all, I did something. I don't know if I should have done it. I can't believe I did it. I went a while without having this thing also. So stick in here and I'll tell you what I did and why I did it. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life Hola! How are y'all doing today? So we're about to go into Costco's How many of you guys like Costco's? Do you think that Costco's is better than the Sam's Club? Do they have more? Are they cheaper? Do they have different items or are they about the same neck and neck? Let me know down in the comments below. So you guys, we know that, let me turn my ear down. Cause down here it's 75 degrees in South Carolina, honey. I have to wear a jacket when I'm in North Carolina. But we know Thanksgiving is coming up, Christmas is coming up, New Year's will be here before you know it. And what's that one item that most people, not everybody, but most people have on their dinner table? Yes, turkeys. Turkeys, 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 and more turkeys. Some people say, I go after that. Thanksgiving, I'm pretty much over a turkey. So, but occasionally I'll do it for Christmas as well. I don't know if I'm going to do that this year because, for one, I have two turkeys in my freezer right now and I got them when they were a cheaper price um y'all I don't know if you've been paying attention but there's a turkey shortage going on yes you're gonna see turkeys in the store but are you gonna see reasonably priced turkeys and the ones that they do have reasonably priced are they big enough to feed your family how many of those will you have to get are you gonna have people bringing food over to supplement you know the lack of protein on the table are you gonna have chicken and turkey those are things i'm interested in knowing how people are going to operate this crisis that most of the country is going through i will say most and i won't say all because not everybody is feeling the strain not everybody so they say I don't know how you're not seeing inflation. I don't know those things. But some areas aren't seeing a shortage of this and a shortage of that. I've seen turkeys in the store. Not in an abundance, but I have seen them. And some are priced to the point where I'm like, I'm glad I have two turkeys in my freezer right now. So times are really hard. Think about those meals that you need right now. And start prepping for that getting those little ingredients like getting your yeast or getting your flour getting your sugar if you're baking a lot I just stopped back up on sugar I could probably do a little more but I'm trying not to go over so with that prep today so you are prepared for tomorrow we're about to head into the Costco's and let's see what the prices look like in there let's see if they have turkeys in there let's just see let's just walk and let's just see so I'll see you in the store. You ready? Okay, I'll see you. He stopped up. So they have food savers for $99. So this is neat. This is a power cap rechargeable LED beanie hat. See the picture? Well, I guess they have a turn. There we go. Look at that. It's in a hat, a beanie. Wow. You could really use that and use your hands. This is a small box of apples. Look how small these apples are for $8. Meat department looks pretty good. Pretty stocked up, but look at the prices. Yeah. 
much is this beef stew? So this is $23.45. How many pounds is this? Four pounds. So they have two packs of these young chickens for $15. So I finally found some turkeys in here. These are Kirkland Signature Whole Smoked Turkeys. $4.49 a pound. Already smoked for you if you want that. And sealed up really well. But guys, look at the price. $50 for 11 pound turkey. $50 for 11 pounds of turkey. How, how much is this gonna feed? They smoked it for four to six hours. But is this gonna feed more than four people? This one's $41, but it's smaller than that one. This is a nine pound. And then this one is 11 pounds. So $50, guys. They're making it hard to eat. So I'm not seeing this in Sam's Club. Event calendar for dogs. How cute is that? So we got eggs, eggs, and more eggs. Well, kind of. All the eggs are about gone. These are $4.99. These are the cage-free. You get 24 of them. Orange juice is $9.99. You get four of these Tropicanas for $12.99. Apple cider, six dollars and eighty-nine cents. They have eggs already, I guess, cooked for you. Thirteen ninety-nine. Well, they don't have any water up top, but they do have water at the bottom. And then you think you want to get paper plates or you going to eat on your real dishes for the holidays. Paper plates are so expensive now. These are $18.99 for $225. The ones that I usually get from Sam's Club are like these right here. But I'm thinking they're either the same price or maybe this one's a little bit cheaper. They're $16.99 either way for 300 of them. So now they got paper towels up top and they got more empty spaces. Right here they got their brand of toilet paper for $19.99. You get 30 of them. Then Charmin right next to it is $24.99. You get 30 of them. You have more paper towels. Not a lot of toilet paper in here. So I think what I noticed is they spaced out, like I'm seeing a lot of empty spaces, but they spaced out a lot of the toilet paper to make it look like it's full. But I'm seeing way more spaces than they can even attempt to fill. So guys, they have this huge bag of powdered sugar for $39, it's 50 pounds. Then they have these single bags for $6. Is this garlic? Oh, that's granulated. Y'all, I did something. I don't know if I should have done it. I can't believe I did it. I went a while without having this thing also. So stick in here and I'll tell you what I did. And why I did it. So you saw some of the Costco. I could not go through all of it in entirety. But you know. Anyway. <sighs> Guys. I said. I, I go in Costco's all the time. And I 
show you guys well not all the time but every now and then I go in Costco's and I show you guys what's going on in there, but I never renewed my card. I just did not feel the need to do it because I already had a Sam's Club card. Prices of everything is going up, but I said, I know one day I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to see something and I'm going to be like, Sam's Club doesn't have this and they're not ever going to get it probably. Do I get the Costco card, membership card or not? Well, renew it or not. I did. I renewed. I renewed it. I renewed it. I got a headache just thinking about it. Lord, my pressure probably. Ugh. So you see those? What are those cheez -Its behind me? I got that box for forty-five. Yes, Sam's Club have cheez -Its. Okay, they do. I spent. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so to renew the membership itself was. Sixty dollars. Now that's because I have a business membership. Business memberships cost more than just the regular membership. So I renew that for sixty dollars, and look at what I got. Sorry if you hear the ear, but y'all, it is hot. Is I don't know what down here in South Carolina, seventy-five degrees. So you see the cheeses? I got those, and. Y'all, it's about to get cold, and my husband drives tractor-trailer trucks, and it is extremely cold out there during the winter time. And he doesn't always want to run his heat and keep his truck running, especially with the cost of fuel. Um, and that was way before fuel even went up. So I don't want him being cold. I want him to be as warm as he possibly can. He has stuff. He buys stuff on his own. But I saw this, and I said my man need this so i have not seen and maybe i missed it maybe i missed it i'm not gonna say they don't have it but i didn't see any thick thick socks in uh sam's club but i found this pack this three pair pack right here and is by avalanche it's the ultimate thermal crew sock all day warmth and i'm telling you these socks are thicker than th these some thickums right here okay this is what you need and then they the long ones that go up over your calf as well um so i got these for him and they had a nice jacket in there i got that for me I don't often buy stuff for myself, but they had this really, really nice jacket right here. In there, it's not heavy. So like I was saying, the jacket is not thick heavy, but it is thick warm, if that makes sense to you. And I could not resist these because I, I thought about my husband with this, but this can, you can get these for your kids if they go trick or treating. I don't know if they go trick or treating or not. Or you can get this for yourself. That way when you're working outside in the dark, you are hands free and you can do what you need to do and not have that bulky little light thing stuck on the front of your head like this right here. Like you Dr. Magoo or something. Look at this. I showed it to you in the store. I got it. I got it. These, this was $29. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was $29.99. And the cashier was asking me, where'd you get that from? I need that for my son when he go trick or treat. So he'll have this light. And when I tell you this is a bright light, I know it doesn't look bright right now, but if you, if I tilt it like this, you can kind of get the gist of it. It is very bright and it has different, um, see that dimmers on it. So guess what? One's going to be for him. One's going to be for me because sometimes I have to go outside at night and check on the chickens or the rabbits. And I don't like hearing stuff in my hand. I would rather have a weapon in my hand than to have a flashlight in my hand and have this on my head. So you guys, y'all take care. Stay safe. Go out there and get your warm items, you know, now while you can. Oh, and those socks were... I don't think they were that much. Those socks were $13.49 for those thick socks. They were worth it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.